Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters in Midjourney. We're going to do it using the brand new CREF and CW options. This is brand new functionality that just came out today. It's in alpha. Let me give you an example here. Here's Ronaldo, an image I've got of Ronaldo just off the internet right there. I uploaded it into Midjourney. Then look at this. I said Ronaldo wearing a dark suit dash dash c ref dash dash cw zero these are the new uh things you can add in and then look at this i mean this is ronaldo pretty much perfect the three out of four of these are fantastic and then i did a couple more of him reading a book again this is ronaldo consistent character now if we go down a little further here i did him as a cyberpunk villain looks pretty damn good other than this maybe this third one here is not so good but i mean these are just awesome and they look exactly like the image however what happens if you want to create an image in mid journey i'm going to show you that too so here's one of a pixar french bulldog smiling at the camera i like the top one here i selected it and then here we go pixar french bulldog playing on the beach dash dash c ref link dash dash cw 100 look at this here's the original french bulldog here is the french bulldog it created and this bottom right one and this top left one are not 100% perfect, but pretty damn close to carbon copies of the original image here. This is consistent characters. Here he is now in uh, pink pajamas. Notice that he's still got the gray face and the white stripe between the nose. This top right one's a little wonky, but I mean, we're going to get consistent characters. Let me show you how to do it. All right, here we go. So let's start from scratch. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a character. Imagine, forward slash imagine, and then I'm going to type in English bulldog in a pixar style and hit enter we're just going to make it nice and simple it'll take a few seconds i'll come back when it's done i'll show you the next step all right welcome back so here are the four candidates it gave me not too bad this bottom right one looks like it has some pretty good potential so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on u4 we're going to upscale number four now this is the character that we're going to be using so we'll just take a quick look at him he's got a nice brownish and white he's got some freckles here these darker spots in here you can get a good look at him now let's go ahead and start creating consistent characters the next step is i'm going to right click on his profile image here so just right click on the image and copy the link you can also click on the image and right click and copy link either way works fine now we've got that link now let's do the consistent character part forward slash imagine and then in this case, we're going to go English Bulldog in a Pixar style. Oops. But this time, instead of just hanging out in the park, he uh, he's going to be, I don't know, let's have him reading oops, a book on the beach. So we're going to we're going to make it a little, you know, a more of a complicated, more complex prompt. OK, good. So this is just standard stuff. Now I'm going to hit space bar. And then I'm going to press the dash button twice, dash, dash, C-R-E-F, character ref. Then I'm going to hit space bar again. These, I don't mean to try to make this sound silly, but if the spacing's wrong, this doesn't work and it gets messy. So we hit space bar after C ref, and then I'm going to command V on a Mac, control V on a PC and paste in that link. When I do that, I've gone ahead and added it in. Now I'm going to hit enter. And this is going to go ahead and create a consistent character based on this image. Then after this one, I'm going to show you how to use the CW feature, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, welcome back. So here's the big guy up here at the top. Let's see what he looks like reading a book. Here, click on the four here. And this is a consistent character. The top left one is a pretty good shot. The top right one is a great shot, especially because it's got the same sort of markings underneath the jaw here and on the... Uh, front patch of his face and presto we can then go ahead and click on u2 <laughs> no pun intended and uh there we go we can have what we always wanted or whatever the heck that song is and there we go we've got a consistent character we've got this big guy in a park here just doing some big dog stuff and then we've got him here on the beach reading a book consistent character i'm going to show you one last technique which is the cw technique here we go all right so to use the cw i'm going to show this one to you using leno messi i did ronaldo earlier let's use messi so i'm going to grab this image here and i'm going to drag and drop it in and hit enter make sure you hit enter or else this won't work 
Once you do that, now I want to create Lionel Messi, but instead of wearing this jersey, let's put him in a pink jersey or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on his image and I'm going to copy that link. Now, here we go, forward slash imagine, and then I'm going to go Lionel Messi wearing a pink jersey, oh, pink, pink and blue jersey, something like that. Let's make it a little more complicated. Then we're going to go dash dash C-R-E-F, which is character ref, and then I'm going to copy and paste in that link again. Remember to click the space bar after, and then watch this. I'm going to hit space bar again, dash dash C-W, and then instead of leaving it blank, I'm going to press in space zero. What this does is it says keep the face the same, but it gives it license to go ahead and make changes to like the to the uh, to the shirt and things like that, or pants or clothing and things like that. So it's basically going to weight this to zero. I'm going to hit enter. I'll come back when it's done, show you him in his new jersey, and we'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. This already I can tell is amazing. I click on it. Look at that. That's Lionel Messi in his pink and blue style jersey. These are amazing images. And that was using the CW. If you don't use the CW zero, pardon me, you'll get the same style jersey. So those are the two things. That's all there is to it. If you get stuck or if you need to have any questions or if you, know, you forget the spacing, leave a comment. I will help you out with them all. Thanks for watching.